okay so we are back and i'm gonna start again modeling this container so hit tab to go to edit mode and then extrude z a little bit on the z axis but this time i don't want that curve to give me a problem anymore so i'm sorry guys i'm gonna scale it a little bit more and then extrude s extrude s again and then f to add the face inside there so you can see it's like that i'm hoping that this time i selected everything let me just hide uh, empty was it empty i'm gonna hide the empty yeah so it's working all around so i'm gonna come to one again and this is gonna be pretty simple again g z move it all the way up. oh wait extrude the z actually not to crap extrude and i'm gonna stop over here you can see that it looks pretty good like it's almost like the same bottle size exactly so extrude z again come over here and scale it in scale it in something like that but you can see that when i do this it automatically oh wait it automatically shows us that there's something missing here so control r i'm gonna get a look cut and scale it out and scale it out a little bit that look cut something like that something like that it won't be exact but it will give you at least the idea so extrude z again something like over here and then scale it uh -uh. control z g z okay extrude z bring it up something like here and then scale it inward this is where actually the liquid looks like it's ending the actually liquid inside the bottle extrude z bring it up again something like here and then scale it in like so scale it in again now i want to move it very close so that i can have a little bit more accurate uh, size extrude z i'm gonna move it up something like here and then scale it in like that so because this is the bottle I'm just gonna extrude Z, bring it up a little bit. So the bottle ends here, but I have to create this um, this uh, lead or the spray thing. Yeah. So I'm going to hit Shift D. I want it to be a, a, a separate um, object, even though it's just separate in edit mode. And scale it out, something like that. J Z, bring it down like here. So where the container uh the, this thing starts and then extrude z i'm bringing it up you can see that it's uh slightly bigger and control l let me select it only and scale it a little bit bit a little bit more yeah. and then awesome so i will alt select here so i can select the look cut all the way around and gz I'm gonna move it up here and extrude S like so. G Z a little bit. G Z okay. Nope. I'm coming back here. Uh, G Z a little bit like that. And then extrude Z. Move it up like so. And then extrude S scale it inward like that gz a little bit inside like that and then extrude z move it up over here so this is where this chubby thing stops so i'm going to do that but i'm gonna now model this so to do that again i want to do it as a separate object as well alt select shift d scale it a little bit something like that and come to the top view come to the top view this one i want to separate it i prefer to separate it because i want to work with it without selecting other vertices um vertices yeah with vertices yeah let me just say p 
by selection so that one is going to be a different object so this one is they might be separated even more when i do the labels and stuff but for now i want it to be two objects so tab select that one that i've just did and hit enter to go to edit mode go to the top view you can see now here it is and let's see what i want to do with it i want to select this the back of vertices but I want to go to Z wireframe box select this two G Z move it up like that select the back one now G and move it over here something like so so it's going to be let's see from the top view how is it looking looks okay yeah let's just select uh, this part here where it looks like it's starting to get smaller box select select this part here where it looks like it's starting to get better box oh man why why my pc do, does this my mouse oh, i hate it when it does this but what can you do sometimes you just have to work with that p ugly pc let's go to number one yeah that's that let me just grab it and move it over here to the forward to forward a little bit and actually let me just move it even further let me move it something like here wait here here and let me just rotate it a little bit like so and then I'm going to come here and select the four vertices vertex. Okay, let me scale it on the Y axis because it's slightly like that if you look at a container. But I need to select this one here. Where is it? This one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, and right click subdivide. It's gonna add a division uh, and those other vertex one vertex here and one vertex here so i'm going to select those two box select these two oh man why my mouse is jumpy jumpy i hate it okay i'm just going to select it like this then come to the front and grab it up a little bit so it has that curvature let me just do this oh man i can't even now select box select Select. Let me just try it this way. Oh, I'm gonna do it all the way at the end. So I'm gonna move it over here a little bit. Rotate it like, rotate it, uh -uh. rotate it like so. Let me just bring it down a little bit. Yeah, and this looks fine. But let me just select this. Grab it down like this so that it doesn't. I need another one here let me just see. select this okay let me just deselect everything box select this right click subdivide and get this center ones box select box select grab it on the z axis something like that give it that cap and for now it's fine so hey i'm happy guys box select select everything and extrude to z move it up like that up like actually before i do that control z before i do that i want to close it on top so you see like this if you go to solid view it's just the vertex around it's not actually closed so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to Box select one side, which is this side over here. Box selected like this, and then hit X, delete vertices. So now it's half of it, and then I'm gonna add the mirror modifier, which is this one over here. But now it's mirroring it, drawn direction, mirroring it, mirror. And then now, I, if I click on Y, you can see now it's the mirror. It's mirroring to the right direction. And then what I'm gonna do now, if I do something on this side it's gonna happen on the other side so now i'm gonna check clipping i'll show you what i'm gonna do 
select uh, i can just say a to select everything oh but i don't want to select this one right click and right click not to select those actually even this one i want to select this one even this one i want to select so i'm gonna hit e extrude and move it this way so that it can go no gy i'm gonna move it straight to the y axis close it so now i have one two three four but it's not closed here so i'm gonna hit f to close it one two three four it's not closed f i'm closing it so now i have a better thing to work with so now i'm gonna select everything again select everything come to the side extrude z move it up move it up for me like actually i want to move it this way it looks nicer there perfecto and then i'm gonna tilt it a little bit to select this two here actually this three come to one grab it to the z-axis to create that a nice curve that's in the middle here bring this one gz down a little bit and see if i can raise up one more here with one gz a little bit like that so that the mounting on the middle there can be nice so perfect so now i think we are done with this uh, but because of you can see through to the other side let me just go to z wireframe and select these ones here gz just want to bring them down ever so slightly something like that perfect and then now when you go to z solid now we have this container modeled this side i can open the hole here where the, the spray is going to be sprayed out but i don't really need to do that for now but i can do it later depending on what angle we're going to be putting our camera in you can see or you may not see so this is done so i'm going to do the third one and let me just switch off from this one and this one so i'm switching off those two now i'm moving this one over here the reason i'm i keep doing this guys i want it to be on the same level 